live from the capital city of the world, Manhattan, New York City. This is the America's News Headquarters with Lee David Heeson. Hello, this is Lee David Heeson providing you the latest news around the globe and the news that matters to people. For our breaking news, Brazil's COVID-19 death toll passes 600,000. We will take a look at how Latin America's kids suffer from COVID-19. Group of researchers have unraveled the greatest Galapos discovery in over a hundred years. And for our travel destination, we will take a look at the wonders of South America. For the news. Brazil surpassed the grim landmark of more than 600,000 COVID-19 deaths this week, making its death toll second only to the United States. For more on this report, we have our South America correspondent, Alec Baldwin. It took hours to set the scene on this gray Friday morning. Despite the rain, volunteers spread clotheslines on the sands of Rio de Janeiro's iconic Copacabana Beach and hung white handkerchiefs one by one, 600 in all, representing the 600,000 Brazilians killed by COVID-19. Brazil has the world's second largest COVID-19 death toll. Who is responsible for this tragedy? The answer is President Bolsonaro. He showed no empathy towards the victims, scoffed at the masks, delayed the vaccines and disrespected social distancing measures while holding rallies against Brazil's democratic institutions. Taxi driver Márcio Antônio was among the Rio de Paz volunteers. He joined the team last year after watching other NGO members plant crosses on Copacabana Beach, a tribute to the first 40,000 dead. Among them Márcio's own son Bruno, who had died at age 25 a few months before. These 600,000 deaths caused a lot of sadness. When I lost my son, there were some 7,500 dead from COVID-19, and it was already an incredible landmark. One person is an incredible landmark. Since then, it seems that the awareness of those who should have been taking care of us has not changed at all. Before the coronavirus pandemic, education was already a problem area in Latin America. Despite meaningful progress in recent decades, more than 10 million children did not attend school and a large part of those who did attend did not meet basic learning in reading, math, and language. Education systems were plagued by deep structural issues that mirrored the wide income poor in the region. For more on this story, let us hear from Mary Trini Mena, live in Venezuela. When the traffic lights turn red and the cars stop, it's time for 14-year-old Maiber Mena to go. He's supporting himself cleaning car windshields in Venezuela's capital. My dream is to study and be something in life. I wouldn't wish this for anyone, cleaning cars that are passing by, because this is not a life. Lockdown orders have boosted the number of children in the workforce in Venezuela, as families lost their incomes because of the pandemic and schools stopped in-person classes, many children went to work to help support their families. Even before the pandemic, many Venezuelan children worked as their families breadwinners. More than 5 million Venezuelans have left the country in recent years, many of them leaving their children behind with elderly grandparents who had trouble making ends meet. In 2019, a team of scientists found a female giant tortoise living on Fernandina. 
The tortoise was moved to a special center on Santa Cruz Island where she could be watched and cared for. It seemed likely that she was a Fernandina giant tortoise, but it wasn't certain. It was the year 1906 when people last saw this and thought it was extinct. Let us relive that moment when Animal Planet captured the day researchers found this extinct tortoise for a thousand years. Area. You can see there's footprints right here. You can still see it's wet. I mean, it's here. There are tortoise here on Fernandina. Holy wow. Holy wow. The tortoise is right here! Wow! <laughs> Look at this! Oh, oh my god! We found her! We found her! After 112 years! Wow! The Fernandina tortoise! Oh my god! I can't imagine what she's thinking. Since we are the first humans she has ever seen. Me encontramos! Oh my god! Oh, me too. I want to give her a kiss. It's a very old female. I'm in the Galapagos Islands, living out a childhood dream of studying tortoises. Oh and we've just found what nobody believed we could. The greatest Galapagos discovery in over 100 years. A live specimen of the previously extinct Fernandina tortoise. But you can see she's saddlebacked in shape. Yes. She lives at lower elevation. There's less to eat here, so it makes sense that she's smaller. Also, you can see this plate, and you compare with the pictures of the male in the cast, it's the same form. Exactly. This very unique ridging, yeah. the pinch at the hind, the pinch at the uh, front, exactly. completely unique tortoise. No other species no. on Earth has this shell shape. Absolutely. <laughs> America's headquarters will be right back. travel destination segment, we will feature a continent that showcases the diversity of culture, species, plant kingdom, and the life not found anywhere else. South America, Nat Geo Kids has the report. This is Earth. Maybe you've heard of it. I sure hope so, because you live on one of its seven continents. If you're looking for culture as exciting as its landscape, then take a look at South America. It's home to the largest rainforest in the world, the Amazon rainforest. It covers over 2 million square miles. That's a lot of trees. And its thick vegetation makes more than 20% of the world's oxygen. Snaking through the rainforest is the Amazon River, the largest river in the world. Surrounding this incredible river is a rich ecosystem full of life, about 40,000 plant species, 1,300 bird species, 3,000 types of fish, 430 species of mammals, and 2.5 million different species of insects. The Amazon River is the second longest river in the world and travels almost 4,000 miles. That's the distance from New York to Rome. 
The largest country in South America is Brazil. It covers almost half of the continent. One of the smallest countries in South America is Ecuador. What it lacks in size, it makes up for in natural beauty. Ecuador has over 4,000 species of orchids, making it the orchid capital of the world. You won't find any flowers in Chile's Atacama Desert, though. It's considered the driest place on Earth. The air here is so dry, there are hardly any clouds, making it one of the best places to stargaze. For more stunning views, check out Angel Falls in Venezuela, the world's highest uninterrupted waterfall. If you prefer your water frozen, head south to see the southern ice fields of Torres del Paine National Park in Chile. Here, you can join over 100,000 visitors a year exploring the mountain peaks and glaciers. Full of wildlife, natural wonders, and culture, there's no place quite as extraordinary as South America. Thank you again for joining tonight. This is Lee David Heeson. Good night.